Well, the organization suspected of plotting to attack Kabul airport is ISIS-K. It's a splinter group of the Islamic State that took control of much of Iraq and northern Syria in 2014 and 2015. But what more do we know about it? Colin Clark is an expert in terrorism and security at the Sufan Group. Based on the last 48 hours of intelligence that has been released, uh, this is likely what the U.S. and its allies were expecting. Uh, I would bet my money on an ISIS-K suicide attack, which is meant not only to attempt to kill U.S. soldiers, but to cause havoc and embarrass the Taliban in the process. Many people watching this program will be more than familiar with ISIS. A few, perhaps, will know about ISIS-K. What more do we know about ISIS-K and the threat the group poses to Afghans? Well, it's a significant threat. There's between 1,500 and 2,200 fighters, largely concentrated in the eastern provinces of Afghanistan. Uh, and this is a, an affiliate or franchise group spun out of core ISIS in Iraq and Syria, just as bloodthirsty, just, just as draconian, uh, and just as willing to wantonly kill civilians and slaughter them. What is its relationship with the Taliban? ISIS-K and the Taliban are, are mortal enemies. Um, th these are groups that are at loggerheads. They're going to be in steady conflict for the foreseeable future. Uh, nobody expects that ISIS-K is ever going to unseat the Taliban and, and take over the country, but they could very well play a spoiler role where they continue to do what we think they did today, which is launch sporadic attacks in Kabul and the surrounding regions. Should the West be concerned, is the West concerned about ISIS-K, or is this a, a, an Afghan-only concern? I think it's primarily an Afghan concern, but we'd be foolish to underestimate ISIS. We've done it several times in the past, and it's never worked out well. Uh, and so this is a group that, if they're able to rebuild their external operations planning capabilities, could very well look to plan uh, spectacular attacks in the West, including in Europe. How are the threats being identified by the intelligence services? Well, we can't get into sources and methods here, uh, but what we do know is that uh, the threat is uh, apparently high enough that the U.S., the Germans, and others are ringing the alarm bells and, and really going above and beyond to make it very clear uh, that they believed a threat was imminent. It's now clear that the threat was imminent, uh, and I expect this not to be the last, unfortunately. This this could very well be the start of a campaign over the coming days and weeks by ISIS-K in Afghanistan. What is pretty clear is that Western intelligence misread the Taliban's advance uh, across Afghanistan. How come the intelligence seems to have been relatively, relatively well informed about this attack at Kabul airport? We've known about the possibility of something happening for some hours, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And, and you're right. The intelligence uh, was wrong on, uh, you know, the speed with which the Taliban would take over uh, the country. They had been cutting side deals with Afghan national security forces for weeks and months. Uh, and I think we should be concerned because, look, intelligence is imperfect. We're operating in a world of, uh, you know, of imperfect information. And so clearly they had specific information of a credible threat here. That's why they released that information. But you do have to wonder, for everything we're getting right, what are we missing and what's coming down the pike next? There was a possibility that uh, many countries would try to uh, remain at Kabul airport for many more hours, flying more people out of Afghanistan. Uh, does this attack, uh, whatever it is, change that analysis? Will uh, countries now decide it is simply too unsafe to be there? It very well could. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, but that's exactly the objective of whoever is behind this attack. Again, most likely ISIS-K is to throw a monkey wrench into this whole process to embarrass the Taliban, uh, to attempt to kill U.S. soldiers, and really just make a giant spectacle of what's going on here. Remember, a significant part of terrorism is the psychological value, the propaganda value, and they've got that in droves here after this most recent attack. How will news of this ISIS-K attack on Kabul airport be read in the U.S. government? Again, it hasn't been confirmed that it was ISIS-K. It very likely was. I mean, you know, the smart money is on that. It will be received in the U.S. government as just another, uh, you know, very deep blow to uh, what's been a, a pretty messy and haphazard evacuation so far. And I think, you know, it would be 
uh, dishonest if if I wasn't going to assess the Biden administration's morale to be quite low surrounding the series of events that have played out over the past couple of weeks.